Qualcomm recently unveiled its Snapdragon X Plus laptop processor, along with more details about its previously announced Snapdragon X Elite chips. While Qualcomm has ventured into laptops before, this marks the first occasion where it could potentially challenge the likes of Apple, Intel, and AMD in terms of speed. The Snapdragon X Plus serves as Qualcomm's entry-level laptop chip, boasting 10 cores, 42 MB of cache, a maximum multi-threaded frequency of 3.4 GHz, and an NPU capable of 45 tera operations per second, tops, to support advanced AI applications. However, it's important to note that TOPS is a somewhat abstract metric that doesn't fully reflect the quality or nature of calculations. Additionally, the Snapdragon X Plus features LPDDR5 text memory support with a peak transfer rate of 8,448 mTIS and integrates a 3.8 teraflop Adreno GPU. Qualcomm also introduces three 12-core Snapdragon X Elite processors boasting a maximum multi-threaded frequency of 3.8 GHz and up to a 4.6 TFLOP integrated GPU. These processors share the same NPU and memory support specifications as the Snapdragon X Plus. The top two SKUs feature dual-core boost, reaching up to 4.2 GHz, a feature akin to Intel's Turbo Boost, or AMD's Turbo Core, dynamically adjusting processor frequency for enhanced performance when necessary. What distinguishes these ARM processors is their lack of a hybrid architecture seen in Apple Silicon and Intel chips, which allocate cores for performance and efficiency tasks separately. Qualcomm asserts that all Snapdragon cores are performance-oriented and claim superiority over Apple, Intel, and AMD in performance, power efficiency, and battery life. Moreover, Qualcomm suggests that PC games should seamlessly run on Windows on ARM, even through emulation. Although there's discussion about the Snapdragon X series chips excelling in AI tasks, their true potential may lie in challenging Apple Silicon's power efficiency and thermal performance in a variety of innovative form factors, such as dual screen and foldable laptops. Microsoft's attempts with Windows ARM laptops have struggled to gain traction, but perhaps this time, with Qualcomm's advancements, they could succeed in creating a compelling ecosystem.